Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to add contacts in Google Contacts whenever a new data is added to Google Sheets. So imagine this, you have added data of a person called as John in Google Sheets. It has John's name, email address, phone number and all those details. Now you want to add John as a contact in Google Sheets. Now here you have two options. Either you can copy all the details of John from Google Sheets and manually create a contact in Google Contact. Now this approach is repetitive and tiresome. Or you can bring in some automation so that when a new data is added in Google Sheets, it will automatically create a contact in Google Contacts. Here I am sending my Google Sheets data to Google Contacts. Now this approach can also work on similar SaaS softwares like Salesforce, Pipedrive, Zoho CRM, etc. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Sheets and Google Contacts. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so here we will begin with a small example. So this is my Google Sheet and I have titled it Contact Creation. And these are the fields I'm going to fill in. So the name of the person is, let's say, Taylor. And the last name is uh, Swift. Okay. And then we have the email as uh, Taylor Swift123 at the rate gmail.com. So this is the email. And this is the address. So she resides in Printon 1234 something. And this is Taylor Swift's phone number. In case if you want, this is Taylor Swift's phone number. Okay, and uh, this is the city. So she lives in Mexico. And uh, the state is uh, Houston. Okay, some random details I'm filling. And the company is XYZ Music. Okay, XYZ Music. And this is the zip code. 67 something random. Okay, so we have filled all the uh, data fields in Google Sheets. So let's have a look in uh, Google contacts do we have a contact called as Taylor Swift so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to refresh this okay so let me just scroll down yes we do have a contact called as Taylor Swift and this is the email Taylor Swift 123 at the rate gmail.com and this is the phone number and this is the company she works in XYZ music so basically this is what we're trying to do anytime a new contact details is filled in Google sheet it will be reflected as a contact in Google contacts so to begin the actual integration process first type pabli.com in your browser pabli.com press enter okay so this is the website of pabli.com here just click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of public connect as you can see I already have made an account in public connect you can also build your own free account in just two minutes so scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now okay so at the top right corner you will find a button create workflow click this a dialog box appears in front of you it is asking you to give a name to this workflow i am going to give it as google sheets to google contacts google sheets to google contacts and then just click on create oh one minute contacts okay better so let me just click on create okay so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so we are going to create a new workflow now after creating this workflow i will attach the link of this workflow in the description box as well so just in case you want to access this workflow you can directly clone it to your account by signing up for free okay so this is the trigger window and here in the choose app how about we make it as google sheets Google Sheets, Google Sheets, I'm sorry, Google Sheets, Google Sheets, okay, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so new spreadsheet row is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new row is made in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new spreadsheet row. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new row is made in Google Sheet. So basically, what we are trying to do here is we are just trying to integrate Google Sheets to Public Connect. So let me take you to my Google Sheet. So I have built a new uh, Google Sheet. Okay, so this is the name of the Google Sheet, Google Contact Creation. Okay, so let's uh, forget this one. Okay, so this is a newly created uh, Google Sheet. So I'm going to fill in some details. So the name is Eleanor, and uh, the last name is uh, Campbell. Okay, Eleanor Campbell, and this is uh, Eleanor email 
ओके एलिनर एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एलिनर वन टू थ्री एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एंड देन वी हैव द एड्रेस सो शी रिसाइड्स इन गोस्ट एंड विला ओके एंड दिस इज द फोन नंबर ओके सो दिस इज द रैंडम बंच ऑफ नंबर एंड दिस इज द सिटी शी रिसाइड्स शी रिसाइड्स इन लेट साइड डेली ओके एंड द स्टेट इज मध्य प्रदेश ओके सम रैंडम बंच ऑफ डिटेल्स एंड देन वी हैव द कंपनी सो दिस इज द कंपनी शी रिसाइड्स शी वर्क्स इन टेक्सस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ओके एंड द जिप कोड इज दिस वन ओके सो बेसिकली वी हैव एंटर्ड ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ अ पर्सन कॉल्ड एस एलिनॉर नाउ वी हैव टू सेंड ऑल दिस डिटेल्स टू पैब्लिक कनेक्ट नाउ टू डू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स गो टू दिस पार्ट कॉल्ड एस एड ऑन्स क्लिक ऑन एड ऑन्स so as you can see there is an add on called as public connect web hooks installed in my google sheets now what you have to do is since you are beginning fresh public connect web hooks might not have been installed yet so first of all just click on get add ons click this okay so this is the window of google workspace marketplace so here just type public connect web hooks public connect web hooks this one click this Okay, so as you can see, Public Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. All you have to do is just click on this button, and Public Connect Webhooks will be installed in your system also. Now, after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat again: after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So, let me just click on close. Okay, going back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect Webhooks, and there is uh, something else uh, I need to show you. So, our last data entry column is column i okay as you can see the last data entry column is column i okay so let me go to public connect and initial setup okay so this is the window of initial setup here you have to fill in two blanks the webhook url as well as the trigger column now the trigger column is always our last data entry column as i mentioned before the last data entry column is column i okay so our trigger column is also the column i so i'm mentioning the trigger column as i so basically the idea is that if the last data entry column is filled it will send the data to public connect now in the webhook url let me just go to public connect and copy this this is the webhook url you want copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have entered the webhook url so basically at this point we have integrated this particular google sheet to public connect now public connect has to capture the data so as to ensure that public connect captures this data let me just click on this button capture webhook response click this okay so it is showing it is waiting for the data so let me take you back to my google sheet and let me just send the data so let me just click on send test okay so basically all this data will be sent to public connect it is showing test data sent successfully so let's have a look okay so we have the data the first name is elinor the last name is campbell this is the email elinor123 at the rate gmail.com the address is ghost and villa this is the phone number this is the city this is the state this is the company and this is the zip code excellent so basically using all these details we have to create a contact in google contacts now to do that let me just scroll down and click on this plus button Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Contacts? Google Contacts, this one. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a contact? Create a contact is an action event. There are many more action events like update contact, create group label, get a contact, update, add update custom fields, and so on. All of them are bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate public dot com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to create a contact in Google Contact. Okay, so let me just click on connect with Google Contacts. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Google Contacts. Okay, so these are the series of accounts I have, and I am interested in working with uh, this Google account. Okay, so this Google account contains this uh, particular contact. Okay, Google contact. Now, Public Connect is asking me to confirm my choice to click allow access uh, to this particular Google contacts. Now, before you click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is hundred percent safe and secure with us. Okay, so let me just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. 
So when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a contact in Google Contact from the data that we have received from Google Sheets via Public Connect. So let's start mapping. So this is the mapping button. OK, so let me just click this. So when we click this, you will find the accordion called as trigger. When we click on trigger, you will find the details. So the first name is Eleanor. We have mapped it. Easy. Now coming to the last name, we have mapped it. Okay, we have mapped the last name. Now, uh, in case of uh, gender, I'm keeping it as a general neutral that is uh, unspecified. Okay, general neutral term. So unspecified it is. Now in the email work, I'm just going to ignore it and uh, coming to email home, I'm just going to map this particular detail. Okay, so we have mapped the email. Now we don't have any data regarding the email other, so we are going to ignore it. Company name, we do have some data. So let me just go back to trigger. So the company is Texas Instruments. The job title, nope. We don't have any data regarding that. Job department, nope. Phone number, home, we can do deal with that. Yes. Okay. Then we have the address city. How about in the address city? We just map Delhi. Okay. And uh, in the address street, okay. How about we map our state or something? And we do have the postal code. So this is the postal code, yeah, zip code. And we have mapped it. And we don't have any data regarding the country, formatted address, address city, and all those details. So let's uh, ignore this. Basically, all this data has been filled already. So we are just going to ignore this. No data regarding the birth date or the birth month or the birthday. So we are just going to ignore that. We don't have any need for custom field or custom value. So let me just click on save and send test request to create a contact in Google Contacts. Let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent to Google Contacts. So let's have a look. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, so Eleanor, yes, we do have a contact called as Eleanor Campbell and this is the email and this is the phone number. Excellent. So the presence of this data shows that uh, our integration of uh, Google Sheets and Google Contact is working fine. Now, before we end this, there is something else you should know. Let me go to Google Contacts. Okay, and I have to make this window disappear. So I'm just clicking on submit. Okay, so the window has gone. Now there is something else. Uh, let me go back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect webhooks, and let me just click on Send on Event. So this will make sure that every time the other row is uh, filled, it will keep sending on the data. So let me just click on Send on Event. Do not forget to do this. Okay, go back to add-ons, Public Connect webhook, and make sure you have uh, checked in Send on Event. Okay, so basically this is it. Now before we end this, uh, how about I explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell? So here I'm just going to minimize my action window. Okay, and I'm going to minimize my trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect, and then you have integrated Public Connect to Google Contacts. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Google Contacts. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.